Coffee is the most consumed beverage in the world. It keeps people going. It's a treat. It's a lifestyle. People don't just like coffee. They also spend their day inside the cafes and shops they love. It's a culture that unites us all. In this video, I want to show you six of Toronto's best rated and beloved coffee shops and cafes. Rooster Cafe. This establishment has great coffee with three locations in the city. But this one in particular is great in the summer and has an incredible view to people or dog watch while you sip on your daily coffee. It's also a great place to bring your dog so they can have a snack also. Come see why Rooster Cafe is rated so highly by the people of the city. This is the one I prefer to go to the most because of its view. Uh, particularly good in the summer, a great view. It's good for people watching, dog watching, and they have fantastic coffee here as well as other drinks. They have good vegan treats, biscottis, muffins, scones, croissants. I got a cappuccino, which is one of my favorite drinks. But all the places that I go to today, you'll see, I'm not gonna just get coffee. I'll get, I'll get one variety of something in each place because this is more about just how cool the coffee shops are in general. And this is one of the coolest ones in Toronto, I think for sure. Fahrenheit Coffee, specialty coffee with a unique flair, house roasted beans and many treats to go with it. Coffee that is meant to be a quick treat to send you back to do whatever it was you were doing. Beautifully crafted to meet your needs. Well, I'm drinking the Cortado with Kenyan beans. It's supposed to be not too hot, because uh, apparently you get more flavor when the coffee is a little more warm. If it's too hot, you don't get to actually taste as much. So this is supposed to be like, you can down this almost like an espresso shot. I'm gonna be really energized throughout the day, I'm assuming, because I'm drinking a lot of coffee. So, cheers to that. Mm. Wow, that is really nice. I think the fact that it's not really hot adds to the flavor. As we were on our way out, uh, they gave us a mocha. First impression, it looks amazing. I'm sure it will taste amazing if the Cortato is any indication of how good this place is. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Mm, wow, okay. This is really nice. Surprised that even after a few sips, it still remains shaped. Which is actually, that's kind of cool. Carafted Bean, a nice coffee shop right in the heart of Toronto. Great place to have a cup and study. Simple and easy. A great place to start a day of exploring while feeling rejuvenated. So we are at Carafted Bean. Uh, I thought first it, was, it said Crafted Bean. Bean is the name, but it's actually Carafted Bean. So, interesting name. I've just got a regular coffee this time, Americano. Um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of espressos and different drinks and I think I, I just wanted to mix it up. And uh, I really, it is the gold standard coffee. So it's actually right near OCAD, uh, which is Ontario College of Arts and Design. So it's actually a nice area to have a coffee shop, especially for students who want to maybe study on their break. This is a nice place to go and have a nice good cup of coffee. Neo Coffee Bar. Coffee, java drinks, teas, and many more inclusions that pair nicely with their Japanese-style pastries. Right beside George Brown College, where students find it a great place to study or relax and enjoy the day. So everything they make, they make in house here, and there's a viewing display that you can actually look and see them make it right in front of your eyes. This is the Neo Cho, which is basically like a cream puff. So first you, you pick your Cho, and then what they do is they put the cream in when you order it, so it's extremely fresh. I think they go really nice with coffee as well, so it's a good choice. Right. 
Mast Coffee Shop. Mast Coffee Shop has their own special blends of coffee locally roasted in this independent cafe. Great service inside this little nook in downtown Toronto and a great place to do work, read, and enjoy high quality coffee to go with it. So I got the macchiato. Basically, light. it's a little bit like an espresso. After this, we have one more place to go to. So I will finally be done my coffee binge. So I'm happy to say that this day is coming to an end. Although all the coffee that I've been having throughout has been absolutely fantastic. This spot in Leslieville has been getting a lot of attention for its great coffee, tempting treats, and a recent visit from Ryan Gosling. Don't let a chance to visit this cafe slip through your fingers. You'll be so glad you came. We're at Grinder. It's in Leslieville. I've just finished five coffees today, so I'm pretty wired. So I got a tea instead, which, I mean, I know tea uh, doesn't have as much caffeine as maybe you'd say cappuccino, but it's probably going to still add to my jitters that I'm getting right now. This is the special for St. Patrick's Day. This is the Irish Fog, like a lemon fog, but it's got a lot more mint to it. This is their gourmet version of a Pop-Tart. Uh, it's a bit of a weekend treat. They don't always have them available, but if you come out on a weekend, you might be surprised with a nice gourmet Pop-Tart. Side has nice strawberry jam, quite like the actual Pop Tart that this is inspired by, but it's not quite as sweet. It's very flaky, delicious, buttery, a bit savory as well. But I really like it, and I think it goes well with a nice Irish fog or coffee or whatever you choose to drink here. They even have their own app. If you actually go and you can download it right in the. No, that's uh, that's not it. Thanks for watching. Here are some honorable mentions that we also wanted to go check out. And be sure to leave in the comments your favorite coffee shop and cafe in the city. And subscribe if you haven't already. We make videos every week. Until next time.